Hello, thanks a lot for stopping by How To Cook Great. Now, if you like what you see, there's over 3,000 other cooking videos on our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, let's get on with this one. So we're going to make a beef stew today, Middle Eastern Arab style. We've got lots and lots, I think there's seven different types of spices in this one. Nice, slow cooked, deep tomato, rich, wonderful. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. Okay, so look, we're going to go straight in on this one today. I've got four tablespoons of oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil, you could use something different if you want. We're going to drop in some whole spices. By the way, the heat is on, we're on an above medium heat. So four dried red chili, four green cardamoms, and then a teaspoon each of cloves and cumin seeds. Just a few seconds in that nice hot oil. They'll infuse the oil, give it a lovely flavor. Then we're gonna drop our beef in. Now I've got there 500 grams, which is just over a pound of a cubed stewing beef. So in that goes. And on this above medium heat, we're gonna throw this around for about four minutes or so. So about four minutes, we've just got a little bit of color on the outside of the meat. I'm now gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add some black pepper. About a teaspoon each there. And then I'm going to add some water. Now you can add water or stock. The process we're about to do is going to get this meat really nice and tender. So I'm just going with water. So you need enough to cover it over. Like I said, if you want, you could use some sort of stock if you wanted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to boil it out. So don't put a lid on it. Turn the heat up to maximum and let it boil and boil and boil. It will evaporate out and this process it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, but it's really going to give our beef a massive head start and make it really tender. So as you can see, we've boiled that out like 15, 20 minutes. Now you're really going to thank me for that process. Really, it's going to make a massive difference to what the end result will be. Okay. One cup of onions. One tablespoon of garlic, ginger, paste. And then we're gonna add a lot of spices now. One teaspoon each of all of these. Thyme. Turmeric. Green cardamom powder. Cumin. black lemon powder, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So a lovely mix of aromatics there, one teaspoon each. Now check the text below, everything's gonna be in there. Right, we're gonna just fry this around on a nice high heat for about four minutes. Keep it moving. Absolutely fabulous. I'm now going to add some tomato paste. This is 135 grams. One of those small little kind of tetra pack things. And we need to cook this out. So again, another three or four minutes staying on the high heat and moving it pretty much all the time. Okay, next up, we're gonna add some fresh tomatoes. I've got three regular size tomatoes there. Try and use a nice, ripe, juicy tomato. We're gonna turn the heat down to just above medium now. 
I'm gonna cook this for about seven to eight minutes. I really want those fresh tomatoes to cook right down. We might even get, hopefully, some liquid from them. If not, we're gonna add a touch of water. Look at that, really fabulous. Really, really fabulous. I'm gonna add some salt now. We did add some salt, of course, when we first boiled it out, but I think it needs a little bit more. And then I've got some cilantro or coriander, whatever you may call that, or you could use parsley. Now get the heat on low. Really nice little simmer now. We're gonna let this go for another 10 minutes. Then it's done. And there you go, job done. That is absolutely beautiful. Really, really delicious. So you could serve that with some white rice or maybe some biryani rice or some nice kubus or bread. Just fantastic. Takes a little while. That little process we've done at the beginning of boiling out the beef really will help you unless you're using an incredibly good quality beef. But yeah, hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love.